Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Technosense. I did it right that time. Uh, sorry, we were running late. We had some technical difficulties. Uh, technology. Um, not, non nonsensical technology. Tech uh, nonsense. Exactly. Um, so, uh, very, very sorry about that, but we have some uh, awesome stuff here today. We're going to be going through uh, 40 Hearthstone packets. We did 10 of them by accident because we thought we were streaming, but, you know. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll go over those. They'll be yeah, fine. That's fine. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, we got great stuff. If, uh, if you know, you know, if we have time or whatnot, I might be talking about the, uh, the Razer, new Razer keyboard that was launched a couple of months ago. So, time with that. More keyboards. So, uh, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Walu Media. Uh, for uh, for giving us this uh, this wonderful technology, um, in uh, in order to uh, broadcast. Yeah. So thank you very much for Wild Media. If you want to stream something, or if you want to do a, a show, or whatever, any video production sort of stuff, um, definitely uh, get, def definitely give Wild Lubin Media a check down on the bottom there. They should be in the description. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they do lots of stuff, graphical design, cool. So. They do it all. They do it all. They do it all. So, um, mm -hmm. and pay the money, they'll do anything. Well, to a certain extent. Anyway, um, so we'll get right into it. I guess we'll uh, talk, a little, talk a little bit about Hearthstone first. Yeah. So we'll get that out of the way. Get out of the way. Um, so as a new member to Hearthstone, because I started playing today, um, in order for the to, to learn more about it, mm -hmm. uh, Hearthstone is like, kind of like an online uh, card gaming yeah, thing. It's an online yeah. card game made by Blizzard Entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based off the Worlds of Warcraft universe originally, but it's quickly expanded into its own sort of separate lore and stuff. It's... It's like a comical take. On it. So, uh, you've got different cards based on, you know, Warcraft characters. Um, but uh, I think the best way to talk about it is just to dive in and open a few card packs. Sounds good to me. Let's go right ahead. So this is from the Boomsday expansion, which is set in the devious hidden lair of Doctor Boom, Mad Genius. Uh, this set features a number of different mechanics involving mechs, which are a uh, old type of minion, but they're given new life with the magnetic keyword. So, without any further ado, let's open up our first pack of the 40. And it's worth noting that there's a pity timer. So, in these 40 packs, we should have at least one legendary card. Hopefully. Okay. So when I hover over them, I can sort of get a hint of what rarity there is. So it looks like we have one rare card. Oh, just open them up. Open them up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have three mechs right now, including a Mechano Egg, a Dead Ringer, Upgradable Frame Bot, as well as the Mage Spell, mm. uh, Shooting Star, which deals one damage to a minion and minions next to it. But our rare is Meteorologist. It deals one damage to a random minion for each card in your hand. So the, the leftmost uh, number is the attack, and the rightmost yeah. number is the, the health. Yes, of the, of and those the are for card. minions. Yeah. You also have spells, yeah. which do different effects. Yeah. One rare. So, we have two Whirl Gliders, which summon up a 0-2 Goblin Bomb, a Secret Plan, which summons a Secret, and Violet Haze, which adds two Death Rattle cards to your hand, and a rare is another Meteorologist. Hmm. I have four of those now. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, it's worth noting, you only have two of a card type in your deck, so you only have two Meteorologists. Oh, okay. Uh, a few repeats here. Bomb Toss does two damage. Eternium Rover is one of my favorite cards of the expansion. It's a fun little card. Gives you some armor, which increases your health. Rare! A rare is Dynomatic. It deals hmm. five damage among all minions, except for mechs. Interesting. Good if you're running an all-mech warrior. Mm. Rare! All right, so this is a good one. Uh, so fireworks tech will give a minion plus one plus one, and if it has a death rattle attack, death rattle, it'll trigger that effect. Uh, death rattles are things that happen when the minion dies. I want to talk about uh, Skeeter Bot right now because it has two cool mechanics that are sort of new with the recent expansions. Uh, Rush, what that does is it allows a minion to attack that turn. So normally when you play it, it has little sleeping icons, and then next turn you can attack with it. With Rush, you can attack that turn, but only minions that turn. Hmm. Now, what makes this card good is the magnetic keyword. So the way a magnetic works is if you have another mech on the board, let's say Glotron, uh, you can play it to the right of it, and it'll merge them into one, combine their stats, and combine their keywords. 
Okay. So if we played Glotron into Skaterbot, we would have a 2-4 mech with Magnetic. Hmm. Interesting. That's cool. So you can get some cool combos going on with that. Alright. Oh! What's that one? We got some good cards to talk about here. Right. Uh, first off, we have a golden card that has unique animation. Uh, cloning device, discover a copy of a minion in your opponent's deck. Our rare is Mulch Muncher with Rush, that costs one less for each tree and you've played. And our legendary, this is our first one of the night, mm. is Kangor's Endless Army for Paladin. It's a spell that says, resurrect three friendly mechs. They keep any magnetic upgrades. So, if you have a mech, upgraded it a whole bunch, and it dies, mm -hmm. you can play this card and get three of those mechs back mm. on the board at once. Interesting. So it's pretty powerful. Let's see what else we can get. An epic. We have the weaponized pinata. Death <laughs> rattle. Add a random legendary minion to your hand. That's an interesting. So the way the tier works is you have common, rare, epic, and legendary cards. So we just open the legendary spell. King goes mm -hmm. in this army. This is an epic card that gives us a legendary card when it dies. Another epic, which is pretty rare. Super Collider is a weapon that you can equip on your character. And when mm. you attack a minion, you force it to deal damage to one of its neighbors. Oh, Another rare. A golden rare, Shrink Ray. Wow. It's a pretty good pack. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. So, three, four of these left. I gotta get through them. Da -da 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 -da. I'll skip most of the commons because. Well, you'll end up seeing this, them over and over again. Yeah. Uh, Astral Rift adds two random minions to your hand. It's a card for Mage. Oh, another legendary Glenn and two epics. You're this is all a, the good cards. This here. is unheard of. I have never had luck this good. Uh, so our two epics are another weaponized pinata as well as the sp the uh, Mage spell Unexpected Results. Summon two random two cost minions, but it's improved by spell damage. Hmm. So, Glenn, I don't know if you've played around with spell damage in Hearthstone before, but the way it usually works is you'll have a minion that has spell damage plus one. Okay. So if you played a spell that did damage, you mm -hmm. have additional damage on it. The way this works is, uh, just as is, it summons two random two-cost minions. If you had spell damage of, like, plus one, it would summon two random three-cost minions. Okay. And so forth and so forth. So it gets hmm. exponentially better the more... Spell damage you have. Interesting. This is a fun card, and I want you to tell me what you think of it. Stargazer Luna is a mage legendary card with after you play the rightmost card in your hand, draw a card. So you have your cards out in front of you, yeah. new cards are added in from the right. If you play it, you draw another one. And you can play it. Oh, so you can just keep one. playing cards constantly. This, this combo is really mm -hmm. well with the mage legendary spell, uh, Luna's Pocket Galaxy, which makes all of your minions cost one. Oh, yeah. So, if you just hypothetically turn 10, play this card, draw like a one cost. Or hang on, how do you do it? C cast a spell, play this card, cast that spell, that you spell, cast that quite card. A few of them just at cast the same them, time, keep yeah. them spitting out. A lot That's of awesome. tempo with that one. Yeah. I'm very pleased with this pack opening so far. <laughs> one card, one rare. The rare this time is Blight Nozzle Crawler. It has a death rattle of summoning a 1 1 ooze with poisonous and rush. A poisonous minion will kill any minion it deals damage to, regardless of health. Really? Yeah. So it's a good way of removing if they have like a big minion in the way. Mm. Yeah. Two rares and an epic. We have the EMP operator, which destroys a random mech. Pogo hopper. This is a fun card. Uh, gains plus two, plus two for each other pogo hopper you've played this game. And we have the Omega Medic, which, if you have 10 mana crystals, you can restore 10 health to your hero for 3 mana. Ah, that's pretty cool. That that's would pretty come good. very handy. Yeah. Yeah. The Omega cards are new. They're supposed to represent Dr. Boone's secret security force, where mm. the more power they have in reserve, they can do more cool things. Interesting. There's only been 10 cards, but we have 30 left. Our rare for this one is Soul Infusion for Warlock, giving the leftmost minion in your hand plus two plus two. The rare for this one is Galvanizer. Reduce the cost of mechs in your hand by one. Rare. 
Soul Infusion again. The Epic. This is an Epic that I like, and I've actually already got two of these, so this will just be dust. It's Augmented Elk. Whenever you summon a card, whenever you shuffle a card into a deck, mm -hmm. shuffle in an extra copy. Oh. So there's okay. a rogue card uh, called, I think it's Eager Scientist or something, where mm -hmm. if Battlecry is shuffle three cards, or choose a minion on the board, shuffle three copies of it into your deck. Oh, okay. If you have this on the board, it shuffles six copies. So you could just be pumping mm -hmm. on minions. Yeah. Then. And I was showing you earlier, there's a card called uh, Academic Espionage. Right. Yeah. Which shuffles ten random cards into your deck. Mm -hmm. This would shuffle twenty if you have it out on the wow. board. Wow. That's awesome. So it's a real great way of filling up your deck. Mm. Next card. Rare on an epic, we have Unpowered Mauler. It's a terrible card. Not worth talking about. <laughs> Reckless Experimenter. Death Rattle minions you play cost three less, but die at the end of the turn. Hmm. That's... Okay. We have an epic and a rare. A star Aligner. If you control three minions mm -hmm. with seven health, deal seven damage to all enemies. That's pretty good. You need to have three minions on the board with seven health. There aren't a lot of minions with mm. that exact health. We also have Anoyo Module, which has Magnetic, Divine Shield, and Taunt. Oh, yeah. I like the taunts. Yeah. So so far, what I've been playing, yeah. the, the taunts are quite useful because... Yeah. Uh, so, the you, way that... Go ahead, because you can explain yeah. it better than I so, can. Uh, the way that... <laughs> taunt mechanic works is if you have a minion on the board with taunt minions have to attack the taunt minion before they can attack your personal hero which yeah. is the aim of the game is to destroy the enemy hero uh, divine shield however will get rid of the first damage it takes mm. so if you had one minion that did five damage and you attacked it it wouldn't take any damage that's awesome yeah start Right. So this is one of the spell damage minions I was talking about. Cosmic Anomaly, spell damage plus two. We have Demonic Project. So Project cards are something new with the Boomsday expansion, where they do something to each player. Mm -hmm. uh, Demonic Project changes a random minion in each hand into a demon, which mm -hmm. is a, a certain type of card. Like, you can see this was an elemental. There are demon card types. Uh, Eureka is a shaman spell which summons a random copy of a uh, minion in your or summons a copy of a random minion in your hand. So if you have one high cost minion you want a copy of for six mana, you play it like that. It's very good. I I don't think it'll see competitive play to be honest because it's got a high cost. Mm -hmm. it does. Golden, Golden Common is pretty good. This is another one of my uh, favorite cards here in the bottom right. Mechanical Whelp. It has two attack and two health. For six man, which isn't good, but its death rattle is summon a seven seven mechanical dragon. Oh wow, yeah, that would yeah, that's pretty cool. So you combo that <laughs> with a, a minion that has rush, and all of a sudden you can do three damage, mm. and then you get seven seven once it dies. I like it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And, like the card art for the mechanical dragon is pretty darn cool. Golden common. Golden common of steel rager, and another omega medic. We've got 20 cards left. Glenn, how are you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm good. We've already gotten two legendaries, so I don't know if we'll get another one. Two additional epics. Uh, we have Omega Mind, where if we have 10 mana crystals, all of our spells have lifesteal this turn. Hmm. So the way lifesteal works is any damage you deal, you get back as health for your hero. Interesting. That's pretty good. We have another super collider. We've got a lot of those. I think we've opened four of them. The fighters? The super collider. Yeah. Okay. It's just a shame because they're not that good of a card. Uh, Void Analyst gives all demons in your hand plus one plus one. All right, we have another galvanizer and a spider bomb, which has magnetic with a death rattle to destroy a random enemy minion. Cybertech Chip, give your minions death rattle, add a random mech to your hand, and the rogue weapon, Necrom Blade, with a death rattle of triggering a death rattle of a random friendly minion. So if you had the mechanical whelp on the board, you used your weapon, you'd get a 7-7, mm -hmm. 
that mech dies, you get another 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, okay. So you can sort of wow. combo it like that. Yeah. You can see why the character gets good. Right, prepare for this pack is Security Rover. Whenever it takes damage, you summon a 2-3 mech with Taunt. Oh. So this combos really well with a uh, warrior spell called Warpath, which has Echo, so you can cast it as many times as you want. It's two mana, deals one damage to all minions. Hmm. So you cast this, let's say, five times. Mm -hmm. You have... I think you'd max out with three mechs on the board because they only have three health. But mm. you get a board full of taunts. Interesting. And there's Lab Recruiter, which I talked about earlier. Very yeah. epic. Another Meteorologist. And Omega Defender. It's a 2-6 with taunt, but if you have ten mana crystals, it gains ten attack. Interesting. Wow. It'll have 12 yeah. attack for 4 mana. So if you have 2 of these, mm. uh, 10 mana crystals, you get 24 attack on the board. Heroes only have 30 health to start off with, to begin with. Mm, yeah, that would take a huge hit off of yeah. the hero, yeah. I've seen it played in uh, Warlock, is where they're using a lot of mm. some mega cards. Man. Biology Project is an insane card. It gives you 2 mana crystals for basically just free. Mm. Uh, Shaman Spell of Storm Chaser. Draw a spell from your deck that costs five or more. It's okay. Not the best. Uh, Pogo Hopper again. I really like that character. It's just funny little rabbit on a pogo stick. Rare for this pack is another mechanical whelp. I have. We'll do the dusting after this of all the uh, extra cards we've gotten. Okay. Because there'll be a lot. Another Dynomatic. We're starting to get into the repeats. That's the problem with opening up a lot of these card packs. Mm. Golden rare and a golden common. Uh, Celestial Emissary is two mana. Next spell you cast has spell damage plus two. Bomb toss does two damage and summons a zero two goblin bomb. A Goblin Bomb is a zero attack, two health minion that does two damage to a random... I think it's just the enemy hero, actually. Okay. Epic is Prismatic Lens. Draw a minion and a spell from your deck. Swap their costs. Hmm. So if you have a one-mana minion, and mm. say uh, that Legendary Paladin spell we unboxed earlier, which costs seven, right. you can cast that spell for one mana, get your three awesome mechs on the board, and still cast mm. more things that turn. Interesting. Yeah. I hope so. Epic rarity. <laughs> There's extra arms. Give a minion plus two, plus two, and add the spell more arms to your hand that gives them plus two, plus, plus two. two. Wow. So it's, you play it, yeah. and then you can play another card on top of it. Hmm. It's okay. It's not that great. It sounded pretty good. <laughs> Man. Man. Two rares, Nether Soul Buster. I haven't seen this card before. Battle Cry, gain one attack for each damage your hero has taken this turn. Yeah, it's okay. Security Rover. Uh, is again a good card. I like it a lot. Man. Another mechanical well. We're down to the last five cards, Glenn. Do you have anything you want to say before we open these last five? No, I'm 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 good. Keep keep her going. Give a little prayer. Give a little I, spin for good luck. Prayer, prayer for good one. Didn't pray hard enough. Really. Oh, yeah. uh, we got Giggling Inventor, which add, which summons two one-two mechs with Taunt and Divine Shield. That's a annoying card. Annoying for for the user or for the for the opponent. For it the essentially opponent. means they have to sacrifice four minions to get mm. through the taunts, Interesting. regardless of their attack. Wow. Okay. So if you're playing a uh, magnetic mech deck where you have mm -hmm. one really strong minion, it's going to be four turns just to break through to attack their hero. Interesting. Unless you have some way to get around those. Mm. Pack number four. Alright. Power Word Replicate. Choose a friendly minion, summon a 5-5 copy of it. That's okay. If you have a powerful card on the board, you can summon a copy of it for its effect. Okay. 
Another giggling inventor and a shrink ray. Our rare is Voltaic Burst. And our final rare card is Eureka. So this is the fun part. We're going to go into collection. I'm going to sort exclusively by Doomsday and by New. So let's see all the cards we got. We got three Mulch Punchers, five Gloop Sprayers, two Tending Treants, eight Secret Plans. Wow. Uh, one Golden Bomb Toss, three Cybernetic Chips, two Magnetic Poisonous Cards, four Shooting Stars, two Astral Rifts, uh, combine two Celestial Emissaries, one Stargazer Luna, that's a good card, five Meteorologists, two Anoyo Modules, one Prismatic Lens, two Shrink Rays, three Shrink Rays, actually, Kangor's Endless Army. We got a grand total of seven cloning devices, extra arms, a Replicate, Reckless Experimenter, two Necrom Blades, five Violet Hazes, and five Crazed Chemists. Five Beakered Lightning, four Voltaic Bursts, seven Elementary Reactions, and five Menacing Nimbuses. Uh, three of all those. We got four Weapons Projects, five if you include the Golden, which I will. We also have the Super Collider, we got three of those, and two Security Rovers. Good god, we got so many duplicates, Glenn. We got six Brainstormers. No one's gonna need six Brainstormers! We never know. It's a garbage card. Two weaponized pinatas, uh, three giggling inventors, and one star liner. So, Glenn, we're going to disenchant uh, about 150 cards right now. So what, is, what does that mean when you disenchant them? So, when you disenchant, this is something built into Hearthstone saying, listen, you can only have two copies of a card in your deck. Okay. So we're going to get rid of all the ones you don't need to give you a little bit of dust. And dust is what you'd use to craft a card. You can craft cards. You can craft cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning a bunch of new stuff here. So, Glenn, <laughs> we're going to we're gonna play around with one of these cards in particular here. Okay. This is a card that I really like called Whizbang the Wonderful. You start the game with one of Whizbang's wonderful decks. Stand back and be hmm. So. So did you just craft that I just crafted that by clicking crafting. I'm going to create a new deck. What kind of class do you want to play as, Glenn? Oh, goodness, I don't know. It doesn't um, matter. I'm pretty prof somewhat proficient at mage. Mage? All right, so we'll choose mage. <laughs> and we'll say, you know what? We want to play with Whizbang. And Whizbang takes over the deck. It doesn't matter what character you chose. Okay. So, Glenn, why don't we take that for a spin? Sounds good to me. You want to... I'm, I'm in, ready to go. All right, well, I'm going to challenge Glenn to a friendly little duel here. So Glenn has his computer set up. So Glenn, you can ask to borrow one of my decks on your uh, computer. Borrow decks, right? Yeah. I, I got this. I got this. I'd recommend using the Whizbang the Wonderful deck. Uh, is that the last one? Yeah, it is. Yep. Okay, cool. Choose. So both Glenn and I are going to get a randomly pre-made deck, which will explore... Uh, type of mechanic new to this game. And he's going to win, because I'm very new to this. <laughs> I'm going to win, but I'm going to help show off some of the new mechanics, how they work. So you're playing the Warlock, and I'm playing the Rogue. From the looks of it, I'm playing a Death Rattle, Rattle Rogue, and you were playing... I have no idea. <laughs> Don't know. No idea. You're still choosing. Those are all good cards. Look at the text of what they say, because they do different things. Uh, I got, oh boy, okay, hold on. I choose a minion, try a card. Okay. 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 Oh, do I go first? Yeah, you I go, go first. first. Okay. I'm going to play the only one I can play. All right. So, Kobold Librarian draws a card that deals two damage to your hero. Oh, I didn't know that. I wouldn't have done it if I knew that. Well, you also, <laughs> if you look at that card in your hand there, the Spellstone. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can't see it on the screen, but he is a card that whenever he takes damage, he can then upgrade that card and oh. get some more damage. Okay. Because so, you play a card, I'm going to play a card. Cavern Shiny Finder will draw a weapon from my deck. Yeah, this is definitely looking to be like a uh, Death Rattle Rogue. Oh, what do I got? Oh, I that's got a good card. This one? Yeah. The Blood Reaver Golden. Gold Golden? Yeah. Summons uh, all friendly demons that died. Th Whoa, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, we we'll want to do this one. All right. There we go. Uh, plated beetle will give you. Oh, I can attack. Oh, uh, I forgot to attack. <laughs> Again, I'm very new to this. By sheer coincidence, <laughs> I will not forget to attack. That's okay. Again, I know you're gonna. Like it. That's right. We're just exploring, having some fun. Well, I'm having. Fun. <laughs> He's having fun. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, it's your turn, Glenn. Okay. Uh, uh, I wouldn't play that. No? So you have the voodoo doll, which has a battle cry of choosing a minion. And when that minion dies, you kill the other minion. Oh, uh, okay. Just, okay, well, I'm just going to... So the warlock hero powers, you draw a card and take some damage. Okay. You can then play that and draw another card. Yeah, yeah. Get a minion out on the board. It's always good to have a minion out on the board. Yeah, just... okay, keep... Uh, yeah, see, I'm... No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think... Here we go. So I've just equipped the rogue weapon with the death rattle of triggering the death rattle of a random friendly minion. So I think I might have a bit of a combo in my hand here with these two cards here. Uh, we're also in a one-on -one copy of it. One of these. It might work. It might not work. It's a wee bit of a gamble. Get another beetle. The beetles are good. I don't know. Take my damage. Deal one damage to... Okay. So that if you have a minion with one health, two health, and three health, it'll cast it again, right. again, and again. Okay. So it's, I, I like it. Yeah. It's, it's a cool sort of interactive mm. card. Let's see if this will work as I hope it would. Oh, it's a death rattle do that. Here we go. That yeah, was my beetle. I kind of like that beetle. Name him Fred. And then you can't get attached to these minions. Fred is dead. Fred is dead. <laughs> it's dead, Jim. Ooh. I like this card, Necrom Vile. Trigger a friendly minion's death rattle twice. Mm. It's only one I can really go to the floor. Now, keep in mind, if you hold on to that until you have 10 mana Well, that's crystals. what I was thinking, too, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Hellfire is good. Hellfire? Yeah, okay. Oop. Well, it's got it. So you are technically winning at the moment, Clint. Am so I? You have more health than I do. Well... <laughs> not for long. No, not for long. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna do this. Here we go. This could be fun. You'll you'll see if all goes as planned on my end. Oh. Oh no. I'm gonna have to. The end is coming! <laughs> uh, what else can I do? You know what? Um, I, I might be able to play it on the other side. There, now we're even. Okay. What's this? Do one damage to a minion, and if it kills it, draw a card. Yeah, okay. Might as well, Kate. Okay. You can kill one of my minions. There we go. Boop! Card. Card pack. Alright, keep going. Destroy a friendly minion. So that would here. destroy a friendly minion. So the minion you control there. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's it's good to combo that with the uh, voodoo doll. Oh, okay. Because it has the death rattle of destroy a. You're done. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. you you might get mad at me after this. That's turn. fine. I'm not gonna get mad at you. You're gonna get mad at me. Someone. Well, it hurts. So death rattle summon a one one used with poison and rush. Oh well, there goes my minion. And I will play oh my two goodness. of these guys. So I've got a full on board. <laughs> ah, but you'll notice your defile is really good against this, and I didn't expect it. My defile. So your de your card defile deal one damage to all minions. If any die, you cast it again. Oh. So you notice I, I didn't mean to set you up for this, but you have a one, two, three, four combo there. So. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Let's do that then. Yeah. Oh, oh, dead, dead. Oh, they're all, oh, they're almost all dead. Oh, no, he's dead too. He's dead. Oh, and, and this guy's and dead as well. That one's dead. Well, that cleaned up the board nicely. Yeah, <laughs> that was a really good counter, actually. I don't have ten crystals yet, so I don't have many, uh, I don't have many minions. You can just pass your turn, I think, unless yeah. you want to play a taunt. Well, uh, do I have a taunt? In the, unless you that want one? to play him, but I would wait well, yeah, until you reach. Yeah, no, okay. I was gonna say when I, once I've hit ten mana, I don't like this now. Yeah, you've got some good cards for ten mana. Actually, yeah, you, just once, you, to 10 once mana. you reach number nine, <laughs> you'll have a oh yeah, that one. Good amount of cards. Well, that being said, that was next turn. And, uh, 
Yeah, so it's two damage. Okay. Right now, if you kill it, I'll have a seven damage mm -hmm. minion out on the board. Uh, deal seven damage to a minion. You also yes. have life steal. So you choose a minion, destroy the. I wonder. I wonder. Let's, let's play this one. I'm gonna play this one. All right. Uh, two. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna stop helping you right now because you could potentially. Win? Win. <laughs> you could get past the combo wipe going on here. Okay, well, I, I don't... Again, I don't really know what I'm doing, so... Okay, well, I do. Okay, that's good. And I should have given... So you can see my card. I'm not looking at his card. I know. Oh, you're not looking at my card? Mm -mm. Glenn. You should be. Oh, no! Yeah, we go. Okay. This Got is it. why I like mechanical wipe. Ow. But that is a really good uh, counter to my card right here. This one? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's like. Uh, the taunt. Yep, the yeah. Void Lord is good. Yeah. Boop. Darkness rises. Oh, wait, wait. Rises. Alright, end my turn. Alright. Because I can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do Back to this. Deal two damage to a. I mean, it hasn't taken any damage. Do I want to do that? I don't think what I want to do. I'll destroy that. Well then. And keep in mind you have your uh, Goldan hero card. Goldan. Oh, this thing? Uh, so look at or... that 10 mana card in your hand there. Yeah, I was I was thinking of playing this That'll one. summon up that yeah. Void Lord and those three other guys. Whoa. Now that I give me hero power, steal three or deal three damage. Okay, cool. And you he regain three damage. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So you're in a good position right now because I have to get Am through I? all those cards. I suppose, yeah, in order to deal damage to me, and I have five five armor too. He has three. Armor. Yeah. So I can get through this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, this is annoying for me because you have a lot of taunts. Ooh. This one. This is a cool card. Myra Rot Spring. Battle Cry Discover a Death Rattle Minion. And it gains that death rattle. Are you playing that one? I don't have an answer. Oh, okay, it. good. <laughs> well, I know what I'm playing. Mm -hmm. That is a good card. Whoop. Ready to glow! You know what else I would play, Glenn? Is uh, that Doomsayer. Which one? The uh, two oh, this mana. Because I've got a significant board lead on uh, sir, I started your turn to score. Oh, right, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. So I'm uh, I'm gonna do maybe kill three. kill one of my minions if you can. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna do the one that has the most. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start. As to you command. command. As you command. As you command. And keep in mind, Glenn, uh, you have a defile in your command. hand. So if you cast it right now, you could kill a lot of my board. Oh, yeah, to oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it. I must feed now. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm done. Hmm. Can't do anything else. <laughs> you cannot. So I gotta remember that all my cards are gonna die next turn. Because you've got that. Nice. Oh, can't get rid of that. Uh oh. Let's see if I can get that working. Probably not. Try What the? Where did all my minions go? <laughs> uh, you had a doomsayer, so that killed all the minions on the board because it's. Oh, okay, that's what happened. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put this guy down. You're in a much better position. <laughs> um, 
do it for the middle. I do a lot of so many. No, there's no minions. There is. There's no minions around the store. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna play both of them here. Uh, then, uh, so uh, that six mana card there that says recruit a demon. Yep. Uh, that'll take a demon out of your deck when it dies and just put it on the board. Oh, okay. Interesting. So I have to somehow lose. Ha ha ha. Yeah. How am I gonna do this? All right. Oh, you summoned a, 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 a wonderful giant dragon. A wonderful a giant very robot cute dragon. Cute, flamey thingy. Oh that's, yes, that's that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. 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 You've got some. Deal seven damage to a minion. Well, you know what? Oh. No, 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 no. Hmm? That's right. Is that uh -huh. So that'll yeah. that'll kill my big dragon. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay. And I am going since you don't have any six. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm gonna do this? Oh, I forgot to attack. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> Glenn fight and Nickel for every time I've done that. <laughs> no! <laughs> the good news is, Glenn, you have so much health. Yeah, I have, I have quite a bit of health. I have another win condition, though, in my hand. Uh, I have one of the neutral legendary minions, Mechathoon. Oh. With a death rattle of, if I have no cards in my deck, mm -hmm. no cards in my hand, and an empty battlefield, when this minion dies, I win the game. Interesting. But it has a very specific set of conditions. Does a minion destroy, uh... Don't forget your hero power is deal three damage to a minion. Oh, I know. Oh, no, it, I'm, I'm going for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You don't need health. Really. Hmm. Now, after 30 health, can I keep gaining more health? No. No. Okay. You can gain more armor, though. That's the right. benefit of armor. Right. Okay. Cool. So we are getting near the bottom of our decks. Well, you are. I still got quite a few. Mm -hmm. I have seven cards. You got six. Okay, I don't know. Lord Godfrey. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, deal two damage to all other minions of any die. Repeat this battle cry. So it's like a defile, but stronger. Yeah, okay, well, let's do it. Well, no minions will die. Well, you know what? <laughs> I didn't think it would happen. You could have used your hero power first on one of them. In your case, it might be beneficial not to kill that plated beetle, so I lower him. Hmm. But such is life. Ow. Mm -hmm. You are really good at this. <laughs> you are still winning, Glenn. I've got one. Well, game. I know, but. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I hate Void Lord. Oh, well, in that case, I'm just gonna put it down there. And, uh. No, no. Alright. It's just, it's annoying because I gotta get through four taunts when you play it. Yeah, I don't know, right? Yeah. So I played it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Still one of them. I guess I'll ping that one. We've got four cards left. So once you run out of uh, the warlock deck is much better crafted than this death rattle one. I got lucky with my combo earlier, but I shouldn't have told you how to win. Sweet. Okay. So you've you have lethal right now on the board, so you gotta be careful. I remember to attack now. Alright. Done. <laughs> what a coincidence, so am I. 
the hell is... Oh, God. <laughs> That's not a fun card. Yeah. I'm gonna have to kill you before that happens. You can pretty easily right Yeah, now. I was gonna say, I wanna just do it right now. Yeah. Boop. And, 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 and boop. Come, come on, there. Victorious. Don't ask me how or why, but I, I, I won. I was cheating, I was looking at your cards as well. Yeah, and I, I still won. <laughs> Jeez, you wanna do another game? Rogue unlocked. Is that, does that mean I unlocked Rogue? You unlocked another Rogue. Oh, sweet. Cool. Because you beat the rogue cool. character. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. Do you want to do another game? Um. Or no? Do you want to move on to something else? Noob. Noob? Noob. <laughs> I'm just looking at the chat. Um, There's a cat in front. How, how long did we... Oh, hello, cat. Hmm? We got all the animals in here. Yeah. Um... Do we want to do another round or do we want to talk about mechanical keyboard? We want to talk about mechanical keyboards. Yeah, well, if okay, if we have time after ranting about a mechanical keyboard, yep. then, then we'll play another round. That, sound, that sounds good. Okay, hold on. Certainly. Let me get that. You can just keep my screen on there, Dad. And I'm just going to do this. Boop. Whoa. And I'm going to do full screen. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so um, this isn't new news, uh, but this was launched, I think, a couple months ago now. Mm -hmm. um, you've heard of it. Uh, for any of those, no idea what I'm talking about. This is the Razer Huntsman Elite, as well as the Huntsman normal Huntsman keyboard. Um, so the reason why these are, are different is because, well, a couple weeks ago when I was talking about uh, the Wu Ting One keyboard, um, it uh, I was talking about uh, laser laser switches, and uh, Razer has uh, has brought in their new Huntsman Elite keyboard, which also has Razer switches. Actually, I'm going to put this in the chat here as well. Just give me one quick second. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, uh, basically, um, talk about a little bit about this keyboard is that uh, again it has the, the the laser switches and this is how they work. Um, so in the when you press them down at a certain point, the laser connects to the other side of it and uh, and sends a signal to the to the controller. Um, so they're they're more uh, phased into basically the the this, this is a super fast keyboard. There's very little delay between when you actually press the key to when it sends a signal to the computer to when the game recognizes it. Okay. Um, and that's the whole thing is, is what Razer's trying to do here is actually trying to minimize that, that delay. And um, which is really cool. Okay, I'll get into that in a second here once I go through the rest of the features before I start ranting. Um, so, uh, so it does have a, a multifunction uh, dial, which is really cool. Um, but I've seen some reviews on it, and they're saying that the multifunction dial A doesn't have much function yet, and it doesn't. Uh, you, you would think, I don't know. It's it's a weird it's a weird dial. It almost feels. Um, I'm a cat. Uh, it almost feels uh, fairly cheap. So that's uh, that's uh, you know. Um, going into it does have a wrist rest that actually does follow the RGB. So as you can see, the wrist rest itself has RGB lighting. For all your RGB needs with Razer Chroma, um, so kind of going into the good and the bad. Here's the two different models. This is the this is the Huntsman and this is the Huntsman Elite, which has the the, the dials and whatnot. So so kind of going into the goods and the bads of these two keyboards is that uh, first of all the the Huntsman should have media control buttons. I don't I don't think it has any media control buttons. So but you had them on the Huntsman Elite. So that's you know. It's kind of. I understand the dial, mm -hmm. and the wrist rest and stuff like that, but not the media function controls. I guess that's foolish in my opinion. And the other thing is, is that this keyboard. Um, I actually just looked at the price of it here before we we went live, on Newegg right now. Just the this edition here, the Razer uh, Huntsman, is two hundred and thirty four dollars, and the Huntsman Elite is two hundred and ninety nine dollars. So it's not a cheap keyboard by any means. And and because it's so expensive, it's not really, like, I don't think people are going to buy this keyboard because, A, it's so expensive, and, B, laser switches aren't actually minimizing much of the uh, uh, the delay. Uh, because Well, if you think about it right now, uh, regular switches have a, a very minuscule delay at best. Yeah. 
you know, it's actually the controller, the USB controller, uh, that you're bombarding with information. So it doesn't matter really how, you know, how fast the key switch is, how fast it can get to the controller or whatever, the USB controller, it's how fast the USB controller can actually process that information. Um, so if you think about it, uh, going into PS2 ports and stuff like that with, uh, with older style keyboards, um, that USB is almost, if, if you really, really want true no latency at all um, keyboard action, you would, use a, uh, you would use a PS2 keyboard. And I'm not talking about a PlayStation 2. I mean, like, the old old school, school PS2 controller on the back. Like, it's like a four-pin thing with a, a section in the middle of it. It's a really weird a controller, but you've probably seen them. I think everyone's yeah. probably seen them. If, you know, they're older than 10. <laughs> they're not that old. But anyway, they're, they're pretty cool. The cat's laying at the table. Yeah, it's... <laughs> oh, cat... Anyway, so, it really, this keyboard makes no sense to me, mm -hmm. except for the people that are, like, CSGO, Major League, you know, MLG pros that, you know, go across the world to, to play games and whatnot with their fancy $300 keyboard. This is a $300 keyboard? Well, this one is. This one's a $234 okay. keyboard, so they're, you know... That seems excessive. The, the, the biggest keyboard I bought was the K95... RGB, which is, it has the 18 macro on the side, mm -hmm. and that was $200, and I thought that was really expensive. That is really expensive. That, I, no, sorry, that is really expensive for a yeah. keyboard, so $300 for a keyboard to get the media dials and whatnot, that, that's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. um, you know, people were saying that this wrist rest also connects directly to the keyboard, there's actually like a, a proprietary um, a connector, uh, I wonder if I can find it, I don't think I can find a picture of it here. Maybe I can. I don't know, but there's a there's a proprietary connector kind of like underneath the front end of the keyboard that actually connects the uh, the connects the uh, the pad or the the wrist rest to it, and that's where it gets the RGB controller from. Um, but and people are saying, oh, you could probably you know it probably has enough power to put through like a like a wireless charging signal or something like that, so you can charge your phone, stuff like that. But logistically speaking, it's 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 for RGB lighting. And don't get me wrong, I love RGB lighting. Oh yeah, RGB you know, lighting is great. I got like four RGB fans upstairs, you know, on my computer, I'm I'm all RGB all the way. But like this is almost like too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's almost too much. Um so you know, going back to the Wu Ting one where you could have and, and by the way, these these key switches, they're not like the flare tech switches. No. They're not like, you know, you can press them down slightly oh, and they'll be able to register exactly where the keys or how much the keys, key switch is pressed down. So you can actually, you can actually like control a card or whatever mm -hmm. uh, with great precision. Nothing like that. No, it's just on or off. So again, it's, you know, if they had, if they actually had like the flare tech switches and whatnot that were actually being used to, to do that sort of stuff, then sure, why not? But they're not. And, you know, they're, they're saying, oh, you know, we, we have these, and I must admit, they have, like, the, the whole um, control arm and everything like that to keep it completely, you yeah. know, functional up and down. It's still, like, it's still, I don't know, it's a weird key. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not. Yeah, like looking it's, at that diagram it's, there. It... It, it's almost, you know, I went out and bought a, uh, a Razer keyboard a couple of years ago. Okay. I shouldn't say a couple of years ago, probably a year ago. And it was, uh, I didn't realize at the time that it was a mechanical keyboard. Okay. Because I, I went in the store, and I was like, hey, look, a new Razer keyboard. Sure, why not? It's not too expensive. Let me uh, let me go and buy it. So I went and bought it, and I found out, because when I was typing on it, every key was different. So every, like, one key would be, like, really loud, like, really clacky, and the other one would be super soft. Like, incredibly soft. So I, I took it back, and I actually did some research on it, and it's actually a mechanical, not a, it's actually not a mechanical keyboard at all. It's, uh, it's a membrane keyboard. Membrane? Yeah, um, and I was quite upset at that because a membrane keyboard, here, I'll actually pull it up here, mm -hmm. um, a membrane keyboard, uh, don't get me wrong, some people like them, oh, yeah. but they're mushy. Like, if you actually, like, try to bottom with the key, it's mushy, and I don't like that. I like a, uh, let's see if I can find it here, called Mecha Membrane. Mecha Membrane. Yeah, it's, it's a weird, very weird style 
he it's like the name of like a Spider-Man villain. From yeah, Kong. right. Like, <laughs> I am the Mecha membrane. Exactly. It's so weird, and, and like. Maybe yeah, here we go. So the only thing that's different about this, can I? Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Hold on. Give me a second. We're breaking out the keyboard. Breaking out the keyboard. Here Enhance. we go. Enhance. So as we can see, it has the the membrane at the bottom, yeah. and then it has a little piece of metal that makes a clicky sound. That's it. So it doesn't like you can press the and, and usually what happens with the mechanical keyboard is when you press the switch down, uh, that click is actually where it's registering. Right. Right. So, but this is it's it's just a piece of metal. It has no accuracy at all. You could you could bomb like I was, I was actually botting botting out the keys. Again, they're mushy, and when I was botting them botting them out, um, they weren't registering sometimes. So it was a really just stupid keyboard. It was it was beyond you know. So the the whole purpose of the click is just auditory feedback that you yeah can type. that so you've I, actually typed like it, yeah. when I'm typing here, I can be like, that's good, that's good audio yeah. ASMR. <laughs> keyboard ASMR. And I've but, broken my keyboard. It, it, yeah. um, but you know it, it, the whole click right? You're actually botting bot, body body. Bottoming out your keys when you do that. Yeah, that's the whole click like on uh, same thing on my tablet here um, When I You know when I actually hit the keys. I'm actually buying You know what I, I'm pushing them all the way down I can't say that word today So I'm pushing them all the way down and the actual key cap. Yeah, is actually hitting the material underneath the keyboard like the, the plate Okay, right, so that's the actual sound. Okay, that's the sound when you get when you type on a like a uh, MX uh, Cherry MX red switch um they don't make any sounds because they're completely linear. But when you push it all the way down, that key cap that's hitting the back plate, that's the sound. And these have no sound because the key will never hit the back plate because it's membrane. So mechanical keyboards. Um, if you really want a good mechanical keyboard, don't buy Razer. <laughs> No, I mean... Like, some of their products are pretty good. Like, Razor, the Black Widow the Black Widow products are pretty good. I've had one for years. Yeah. It never broke. I got to switch the keycaps out. It was actually really nice. I'm still using my Razer headset I got from Futurama for $50. F Futurama? Like, Future Shopper. <laughs> Futurama. <laughs> I stole it from Matt Groening's animated cartoon <laughs> show, Futurama, Futurama, for 50 Canadian dollars. Oh, my goodness. And it's still holding up after like six years. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of the products are pretty good, but lately it just seems like they're. I was really excited for one of the projects. They had a yeah. really cool project out that was a uh, like a computer, mm -hmm. and you you would put your like your hard drive, your graphics card, stuff like that inside these containers. Oh and, yeah. And you put them in this base unit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. it would it would be all mineral water. It would be mineral water cooled. Yeah, yeah. So like the actual mineral water would be like flowing through the components because mineral water it. Are, Mineral water is not conductive. Yeah. So, um, you know, you can actually build a full custom PC, submergent to mineral, mineral water, and have it perfectly run. Now, don't try it at home. And if you do, look it up before you do, because there are some very... You, you have to know what you're doing. Yeah, anytime you <laughs> want to submerge your computer in any type of liquid, you should consult your local PC doctor beforehand to find out if mineral water is right for you. <laughs> And we're talking about mineral like oil. Mineral, mineral oil. Mineral oil, not water. Mineral water. So I can't take my, my five gallons of Perrier I no. have at home. No, that, no. Pour it in a fish tank. Put my Mac in. Well, unless you want to kill it. Atomic <laughs> for a later date. <laughs> and on our next episode, we'll submit, submerge a laptop into mineral water. On our water. next episode, what type of liquid's going to put my computer in? <laughs> oh, my god. We got mineral water, mineral oil. Yeah, so, like, again, some some of their keyboards are pretty good, but I honestly, like, ever, ever since, no, I don't even remember when I stopped buying stuff from them. I, I uh, never bought a keyboard. They're, they're almost like the Apple of gaming. They are, and they're, you know, I hate to say it, but. They were advertising their Razer Blade laptops. No, the, the Razer day. Blades aren't too bad. They aren't too bad. They're expensive. The more recent ones, 2000 bucks for, like, a 1050 Ti computer. Really? Yeah, the old, like, it was. No. It was one of them. You gotta you gotta look at them carefully because they're a bit no. overpriced. You yeah. know what I do like is um, they're starting to do uh, their Overwatch branded things. Is you can get the uh, headphones that are the same style as the uh, ones that Diva wears. Diva, of course, is the. Oh really? You can get them with like the little bunny ears. <laughs> I think that's pretty. Oh cool. my goodness! Yeah. This one. Razor Blade. 
Yeah. How much? See, I, I like the I, I like the design of them. They're really cool. They looking. are really cool. They're like um, they're almost like a Mac in construction, where they're like all aluminum. Yeah, yeah. They have a very good uh, very good build quality. Yeah. Um, the but, only thing though is that. Uh, they're definitely overpriced for the stuff that's inside of them. Those yeah. Really cool. Again, they're they're the, the MacBook of of gaming, of games. <laughs> yeah, they look like a MacBook. They are. They, they do. Be... I remember like when the original ones came out, mm -hmm. they looked identical to a Mac except they were black yeah. and had the Razer logo on. Yeah. That's the only difference. Even this one is like a uh, dark gray. So if it was just a little bit darker, it would yeah. look similar to a Razer yeah. blade. Exactly. Heck, I have Razer stickers at home left over from my headphones. That's too. Slap easy. that on there. I've got a Razer blade <laughs> Mac OS. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think uh, we could get you a mechanical keyboard. We, I'll we, burn we that gotta... bridge when I get to it, Glenn. <laughs> um, I think my my personal favorite is uh, it has to be a, a cherry clears at the speed switches. Yeah. Because they're 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 actually really hard to press. Mm -hmm. um, but they're very like they they actually have a very low travel distance. Yep. And uh, and when they when they go down, they actually register really quickly. Yeah. Um, can I, did I bring it down? It was that little, little tiny one. You brought it down. I think I did bring it down for a second. It was that little, little tiny one. It was like that little tiny one. one. It was yeah. like, like a chocolate bar. Keyboard. Yeah. That, those are Cherry MX speeds, which are really cool. Yeah. That took forever to get here because it had to come from China. <laughs> That's but. all good things to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Razer keyboards. Uh, unless it's like a Black Widow, mm -hmm. I wouldn't buy it. Yep, and it's cool that they're getting into, like, the laser keyboards and stuff. If they make it mainstream, well, yeah, bring it on, yeah. you know? But, like, I hope the mainstream goes into Flare Tech. Because, yeah. again, Flare Tech is, it, to be honest, is where it's at. That was that was exciting for me, seeing, like, the, like, gradual yeah. sort of depression where it could sense that. That gives you, you a lot more People use Rocket League, and they love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, Rocket League is, like, super popular. I used to. I'm not sure if anybody plays it anymore. I know it used to be. This is before from, uh, before PUBG came out. From uh, <laughs> from my perspective, every time I go to the movie theater, I'm seeing an advertisement for Rocket League. Really? Like three or four different advertisements. Yeah. For, there must be like yeah. a Cineplex sponsorship or something. Could be. Well, That's a new topic. Actually, going into a topic I didn't even put on. Um, so Fortnite was released on Android. Yep. Oh, that that is the new thing that happened. Yeah, I, heard of that. I yeah. should actually put that up. But uh, yeah, so Fortnite was released on mobile. Or on Android, I should say. It was already released on iOS. But it's only re been released for Samsung devices. Oh. On the on their, on their the Galaxy Store or whatever the heck they call it. I got a Samsung phone. I don't even use it. Um, I downloaded it. Um, tried to play it. And I was like, hey, you have to turn Android device bridging off. Like the, the USB device bridging. So you can yeah. load apps onto it. Okay. I guess to... So they don't want you hacking into it. So don't hack Fortnite. Could <laughs> yeah, heaven forbid is um, nothing sacred. <laughs> so, uh, so that was interesting. But yeah. uh, I do want to try to because uh, I have the Samsung Dex thing. Mm -hmm. I want to see if I can actually play with the keyboard and mouse. I think that'd be kind of neat. That would be cool. So we'll maybe maybe next week. But uh, but yeah. So so they only released it for Samsung mm -hmm. devices, and you're gonna have to wait a while before you get it on your Android phone, if you don't have a Samsung device. So you know. <laughs> I don't have Samsung. You can get it on an iPhone, though. So. Yeah, you can, yeah. So it came out on iOS first, and yep. then it came out on Samsung, and now it's hopefully going to be on... And you'll never see it on BlackBerry. Never, ever. Well, I suppose the BlackBerry is that I haven't run. seen the BlackBerry in I haven't so either. long. I haven't either. Not even... Normally, you have seniors that use this, the uh, old Blackberries, but even... Well, you can't. The, yeah. the older Blackberries, you can't anymore. They took the servers down. They took the servers yeah. down? Yeah. That's the old why Black... I haven't seen any more The old... The was it BBS, uh, BlackBerry business servers that went through your email and whatnot? Yeah, they took them all down. Wow. It's only good for phone calls and text messages now, even then. Yeah. Wow. That was a couple of years ago. That was when Jeez. I was, you know. I never uh, used a BlackBerry, so yeah. it never affected me, I guess. <laughs> I used to, uh, uh, when I was working in the tech industry. Yeah. Uh, I won't go into detail with that, but uh, no, I used a BlackBerry a couple times. They, they were used quite a bit in business. They were because they were extremely secure. Secure, extremely reliable. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that next week too. Yeah. Well, Glenn. I think that's it, though. I think we've that's it. <laughs> we've yeah. sort of we've gone off topic a bit. We sort of freestyled it, free jammed it. Yeah. Opened up some Hearthstone packs. We that was a very successful unboxing. We opened yeah. more than the above average number of legendary and epic cards. I did the math here while we were talking about keyboards. Mm -hmm. So that well, was, was a keyboard, yeah. very successful 
series of unboxings, yeah, some interesting good. topics, some good discussions. Yeah. Sorry for no uh, Jackbox, but we'll get the, get back to the next week. Yeah. Maybe we'll have a little yeah. extended version of Jackbox. If yeah. there's anything you'd like us to talk about on stream, give us a little message. Let us know. Leave it in the description or the comments. Remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and share to your favorite friend, not the one you don't like. Well, even the one you don't like, they might like tech. And don't no, we don't want him. If you don't like him, we won't like him. Well, I like anybody. I like him. <laughs> yeah, well. Anyway. <laughs> I have standards. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, Wild Oat Media again for uh, for uh, giving us a uh, wonderful equipment and the wonderful space. And, uh... Oh, oh, typing race. Typing race. Typing race. Maybe we'll do that next week. We might do a typing race next week, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. That's interactive. <laughs> that is interactive, too. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Um, so we'll do a type of race. Anyway, uh, thank you to Wild Loop Media for giving us the wonderful equipment that uh, that allows us to do this and the wonderful space. Um, if you would like to contact them for anything, they do video production, live streaming, just about anything. Uh, link in the description, Wild Loop Media. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you all have a good night, and sorry for being an hour late. Yeah. It's worth the wait. Yeah, it's worth the wait. Anyway.